The Mighty Modifieds are ready to rumble. The 50 lap Outlaw Showdown at Outlaw Speedway underway for 2021 and Hurricane Steve Payne will grab the early lead. Payne will take it up onto the outside through turns three and four as we come down to complete the lap of the one for Rago. Battling down to the inside of the 25 of Eric Rudolph. Shepard also going to the bottom as Rudolph hangs on the outside. And now Mahaney coming up alongside Shepard as Rudolph tosses it in hard there on the outside. Wow, here comes Perego inside of Rudolph side by side for a second spot. He'll drift up in front of LaRoche to get to the outside of Cartwright, but Cartwright pushes up the racetrack and Payne has to check up, and immediately Perego starts drawing in. Yeah, he did. Payne went around one and under another one. A little couple with Cartwright got hung up on the outside. He'll switch to the bottom lane coming off of turn number four, and it'll move him by the 121 of Tyler Nibble. Now Payne trying to open up a little daylight, but here comes the battle now. Perego has Shepard and the 80 right behind him as they work lap traffic. Now Payne getting out a little bit further now as he works lap traffic down the front. Perego within about three car lengths of the leader. And Perego for the first time in a while now has no traffic between himself and Payne. He'll dive to the bottom and turns one and two. Payne gets the run up off the corner, opens up only this time about two car lengths as they run down into three and four. The lead battle joined in traffic as we complete lap 32. I wonder if Payne now knows that Perego is there. Payne is running the middle lane. Perego to the bottom. They'll go side by side off the corner. Payne definitely has to know that he's got a challenger now. And now Mahaney still chasing. Shepard, Shepard is third, Mahaney's fourth, Perego is side by side with Payne as they work with each other side by side off of turn four, Payne still has the lead. And this time Perego again shows him a wheel through turns one and two. Wow, Mahaney now battling it out with Shepard and he's right on Perego's back bumper, Perego on the back bumper of Steve Payne. Payne trying to battle it out with Mike Gooler. He had passed Gooler the last time by Gooler repassed him. They work off the corner. Payne now goes by Gooler. And Perego feeling the heat now from Mike Mahaney. Mahaney all over Perego. They're one, two, three, bumper to bumper to bumper. Shepard now being challenged by Friesen. We've got the top five all together under a blanket now as we work lap number 45 this time by. And it's going to be the lap car, Jimmy LaRock, that now may factor in because Payne wants to stay on the bottom, and LaRock is only about two car lengths in front of him. Mahaney now steams it up from the top lane in turn number three, going for the bonsai outside run as we come to the white flag. White flag final lap, Payne leading Mahaney outside of Perego. Now they're three wide for the lead. Payne, Mahaney, and Perego down the back straight away. Freeze is not far behind. The Hurricanes team, Payne leading the way off the turn, looking for and will take his first ever short track super series victory. Mahaney, then Perego, then Freeze it. Unbelievable.